one of the things you recognize about God's creation is that healthy things are growing things. Right now, my yard's not growing a whole lot because it's not very healthy because it's so dry. But if you look at a, a, a plant, it starts out a little seed and it grows into a bigger plant. You look at a tree, it's this little bitty thing. It grows into a bigger thing. If it's healthy, it's going to be growing. Animals are the same way. People are the same way. Little infants grow into adults. And the Bible tells us that in our spiritual life, in our life in Jesus Christ, that we're supposed to grow. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're supposed to grow in grace and we're supposed to grow in our knowledge of Jesus. So how do we do that? Well, one of the ways that we grow, 1 Peter chapter 2 tells us in verse 2, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Now, Paul in a different place is going to make a contrast between uh, maturity and he's going to say, I couldn't give you meat because you're not able to handle it. So I had to give you milk. That is using that metaphor to describe the maturity of a group of Christians. That's not what Peter is saying here. Peter is using this as a metaphor, as a simile. He's using the word as, and he's, he's doing it to, to show us, I want you to be as excited about the word as a newborn baby is about milk. As newborn babes desire <laughs> the sincere milk of the word. You know, one of the great joys of life is to watch newborns and babies get excited about their milk about a bottle or about their mama. And Josie's got some goats and yesterday a neighbor came over to help her feed her goats and, and to listen to the little girl giggle as she watched those goats just get so excited about that milk and their little tails just going crazy. And, and uh, you know, uh, when, when goats or, or lambs are nursing their mama, I feel so sorry for those ewes and nannies. Those little things will lift them clear off the ground sometimes. They just get so excited about that milk. When they know it's time, boy, they come running. <clears throat> and so that's the, the, the metaphor that Peter is using here. You know, the Bible uses that, that metaphor of being like an infant or like a child in another place. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 3. And he, Jesus is speaking. He says, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, when it comes to the things of God, we can learn a lot from little children. We need to get rid of all of our high, lofty, incredibly deep intellectual ideologies. And we need to be like little children when we come to Jesus. We need to come to him in a sincere and honest and genuine faith, just like a little child trusts the trusting adults and parents in their lives. And when it comes to God's word, we need to get excited about growing in grace and about growing in our walk with Jesus and our knowledge of Jesus Christ. We need to be just as excited as a newborn is. And the next verse he says in 1 Peter 2, 3, he says, if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Now there's the whole point. If you've never tasted that the Lord is gracious, you're probably not going to get excited about the sincere milk of the word, and you're probably not going to desire it. You may have never tasted. You may not know. The question this morning is, is have you tasted that the Lord is gracious? You say, what do you mean by that? Well, it's real simple. I can take and show you a plate of food all day long. You can drive down the road and see a billboard announcement with this beautiful looking a uh, photograph of a hamburger or a plate of enchiladas or a big old juicy steak or whatever it is. But until you go to that restaurant or come to my house, take a fork, take a knife, cut that thing open, lay into it for yourself and take a big old hunk out of it, you're not going to know what it tastes like. And the same goes for Jesus. Until you taste for yourself and you experience the Lord's goodness and graciousness, you're not going to know but you can. And so I just want to encourage you this morning. Have you tasted the Lord is gracious? If so, get as excited as a baby goat about the Bible. God bless you. Have a good, great day.